Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Your first weekend update basically. Yeah, Bitcoin is still um, in this descending price channel here. I actually haven't extended the trend lines, but we're basically still in this trend channel to the downside. This here is only a short term update. Yesterday, I think in one of the last videos, I also shared with you the daily chart. Um, obviously, nothing has changed there. And we are now in a situation in which really the price needs to think about a turnaround to maintain the white scenarios viability. So the white count indicates that this here is a B wave correction, a B wave pullback yeah, into this support area within, however, a larger third wave rally to the upsets. We're dealing with a diagonal pattern here. We have a wave one up into the, so from this larger degree, fourth wave, you know that, you know, all of you know that, uh, at least if you've been watching the videos for a while, the fourth wave likely bottomed on the 1st of May. At least this is one of the scenarios, but this scenario will become far less likely below 62,540 USD. Um, from here we have this one, this two, an A wave up, a B wave down. And this B wave is quite protracted, quite extended, takes quite a long time, or it took quite a long time to develop. And a C wave rally from here could start. Now, this C wave could still reach 76K, even though we might need to correct that um, when the C wave starts based on where the B wave actually bottomed. But we should ideally get into that region at least close. And then another four and five pattern would be required to complete the larger fifth wave of wave three. And it should target here the area of 85 to 86K. My assumption is still that we get there. The question is just, do we move up from here or after that um, C wave in yellow? And I mentioned it already in one of the signals for gold members earlier today that Bitcoin has now arrived at one of the last bus stations here really to hop onto the C wave bus to the upside because we're now deep in micro support, deep in the upper support area. And it really takes a break above 62,540 to indicate that, yeah, uh, you know, um, not, a, not a break above 62,540, but we need to we need to avoid a break below 62,540 to to keep up the scenario that the white kind account is actually unfolding here. Um, any break below 62,540 will, yeah, will will make it much more likely that the yellow scenario is actually playing out, in which we are moving down in this yellow C wave into the area between 55 to 58k. So this is the alternative scenario at the moment, but also quite likely as I've repeatedly mentioned over the last few weeks. I mentioned many times the structure to the upside has many problems. It is not clearly bullish, but as long as we're holding the upper micro support area, I give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Um, it is um, clearly still a downtrend. Okay, and we clearly haven't started that C wave. So I'm not going to tell you that I think we're gonna turn around. What I try to make very clear in every video is that I'm looking for further downside until I see the first break of resistance, but that's only the first step. Once a resistance area is broken, and that's not even the case yet, I'm going to watch for the structure. So do we have a five wave move up? If I have the first five wave rally, then this could indicate the start of wave C. Until I see that, it is very much recommended to be on the side of caution, still expect further downside, whether that's one more low in the white count or that's actually the yellow count, we will have to see. And it also doesn't matter so much, but just to not to be trapped, okay? Not to be trapped in a C wave that might break down again. I hope that makes, hope that makes sense. Um, before we zoom in and take a look at the microstructure, quick reminder, you could vote, you, you still can vote for your favorite coin out of these four choices or yeah, out of these four choices, Turbo, IMX, Crow, Render. Um, two hours left and I will provide an update today. Let's see if we can get a thousand votes. We now have 924. I will provide an update just on X. So if you wanna see a Turbo video, make sure that you follow us here on X as well. You just have to follow the correct account, please. You'll find a link in the description and another word, a quick word here, we are publishing our newsletter today, later today. So if you still wanna register, you can do that. You'll find the link on X as well. It's completely free and there's lots of fun stuff in there and useful stuff actually. But that will happen today. So if you wanna register in time, best to do that straight away. 
Now let's go to the 30 minute chart. And by the way, even if we follow the yellow count and we go down a little bit lower into the region around 55 to 58K, that would still be part of an overall bullish scenario, okay? Um, also a quick reminder, the RSI on the daily time frame is now close to 35. I think it's around 36 now. So we're getting close to oversold territory. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Now let's go actually to the 30 minute chart. And here you can see that the market moved up nicely from yesterday's low. However, we are still holding within the resistance area. I don't find that resistance area too meaningful, I have to say. I don't find it too meaningful, but few things happened. So Bitcoin broke above an initial trend line that did lead to a small rally into the resistance area. We've now arrived at resistance when we have these previous swing lows, so they can act a little bit as resistance that is here in the area around 64,450. Um, but it's only a three wave rally. Okay, what I find more important than the resistance area and the price did react several times to it. What I find more important than the resistance area itself is the structure of the price, which is clearly, 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 clearly a three wave move. At the moment, you can easily count that as a WXY structure, it might need one more high. Yeah, but that is um, not very productive, I think, to try to micro count a correction like that, because there are so many variations, but you could easily say this is a wave W, X, Y, and then in the Y wave, I have an A, a B, and the C wave might need one more high because it's a one, two, three, four, maybe one more high. And yeah, it might briefly break resistance. I don't, because I don't have a reliable micro count to the downside, I don't find the resistance area too noteworthy, too important. Um, but still it is something to watch and the price re got rejected several times. But again, what is more important is the bull's ability to form a five wave move up. And anyway, th there is probably not going to be a reliable signal that we've really bottomed until we get a five wave move up above the corrective price channels upper boundary line. So we need more patience. And I think today might be a quiet day. Still, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.